How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARK Let's Build video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this blacksmith's house that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARK. And for all of the building materials you will need for this build, as well as the map cords where I built this, check out the description below. And guys, all of the paint decorations for this build was done by You Were a Monkey. She's going to have a full tour of her work, as well as she actually live streamed the entire process of painting and decorating this build. So I'm going to leave links to her channel in the description, as well as a comment. Make sure after this video, you go check those out and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. So anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is our foundation. So we're going to start off by placing a line of seven stone foundations. Then we will add three more of those lines behind that. Now back here on the front, we're going to count two foundations in. And then right in front here, we're going to place three more stone foundations and do that one more time in front of those. Then we will head to the back side and we're going to count three foundations in. And we're going to place two foundations right here and then two more in front of those. And so this will make up the foundation for our build. So just go ahead and switch all of those foundations to block. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our pillars. Starting off over here on our left side, we're gonna come in here to this back corner and place a wooden fence foundation on it. Then on the corner, we'll place a stone pillar followed by two wooden pillars. We'll place a wooden fence foundation on the next stone foundation right here. And right here in the middle, we'll add another stone pillar followed by four wooden pillars. And then on this corner right here, again, we'll place a wooden fence foundation another stone pillar, and two more wood. Now we're gonna come to this inline right here between these two foundations and place our wooden fence foundation. Right here in this corner, we're going to add two stone pillars. And then right here on the other side, we will place a stone pillar followed by two wooden pillars. Now we will come to the very front and right here on this middle foundation, we will place a wooden fence foundation. And on this side right here, we will place one stone and two wooden pillars. Add another wooden fence foundation right here. And again, on the corner, place one stone and two wood. Coming over here to this portion on our right, we will place a wooden fence foundation right here. Add a stone and two wood in this corner. Place another wooden fence foundation right here. And again, add a stone and two wood on this corner. Now we will place another wooden fence foundation, one foundation in here in the middle, and go ahead and add a stone pillar right down the middle, followed by again, four wooden pillars. Add another wooden fence foundation here on this corner. And again, go ahead and place your one stone and your two wooden pillars. Right here in this corner, we will again place another wooden fence foundation on this foundation. And then in the corner, again, one stone and two wood. On this back side right here, we will place a wooden fence foundation on each of these. And then on each side, on the corners, again, one stone and two wood. And then the last one we're gonna do is place a wooden fence foundation right here on this foundation. And in the corner, place one stone and two wood. And then on the other side, again, place your two stone. So that'll make up all of our pillars for this build. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our bottom layer of walls, starting out here on our front between these two pillars. We're gonna go ahead and add a stone wall on each of these foundations. Now just make sure you're getting it on the foundation, not the fence foundation behind it. So just like that, over here on the side of that, we'll add two more right here. In this next spot, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone door frame. 
and fill that in with a reinforced door and then add a stone wall next to that. Now on this entire side, we're just gonna do stone walls all the way across. Here on the back, we'll add two more stone walls here. Add stone walls going all the way around this back portion. We'll place another stone wall right here. And then we're going to go ahead and leave this area open. Come over here to the front and add another stone wall in each of these spots. As well as this spot right here. Right here, we're going to go ahead and add a stone wall. And then next to that, we're going to add a sloped stone wall right. And now the last thing we're going to do is right here between that pillar and that pillar over there, we're going to take a line of stone walls across. All right, now here on the front where we have this area, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ceiling right here and then drop a stone stair down from that. And then add one more in front of that one. So just like that, we'll place a stone stair in front of each of these foundations and do that again on the back side. And then we will also go ahead and place a stone stair over where we place that stone door frame. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add some wood ceilings to make up what is actually going to be our first floor of the house. So we're just gonna first fill in this entire area right here that's walled in with wooden ceilings, but make sure you're placing them in the same direction as this one. Now we're gonna go ahead back out and right here where we have this wall going over to that wall, we're going to add another line of ceilings Again, making sure you're placing them in the same direction, so you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, just to make sure that they're placing in the same direction as the ones we already placed. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the wall. So first here on the front where we have this kind of outcrop here on the side of it, we're going to place a wooden door frame right here and fill that in with a wooden door and then add a wooden wall on top. Next to that, we're going to add two wooden walls. We're going to skip the very front right here for now. Come over here and place two wooden walls on each of these. Then we will head to the back side and we're going to place two wooden walls here on the side on each of these. Again, we're going to skip the very back for now and place two more wooden walls on each of these. Now here on the front side where we left this spot open, we're gonna go ahead and place a greenhouse wall on each of these. Then place a thatch ceiling out in front of them. Go ahead and get out a wooden railing and what we're gonna do is rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this, which is actually on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and add another one on top do the same thing over here in this next spot. Then you can go ahead and place a wooden wall on top of those greenhouse walls and then finish it off with the appropriate sloped wooden wall. Now go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch and we're just gonna repeat this whole process on our back side. Now at the top of our stairs between these two pillars, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden wall and we are going to again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this. Go ahead and add one more on top of it. Now we're gonna come over here to the side and hang a thatch ceiling off from each of these ceilings and also here on this back corner. And then again, we are going to place two high wooden walls and again, rotate the snap point so that it's placing on the thatch ceiling like that. Do that over here on all of these. And then go ahead and pick up or destroy all of these thatch ceilings. Now we'll head to the other side of the build and again, place thatch ceilings all the way around this side. 
and just go ahead and do the same thing. Get out your wooden wall, rotate the snap point and place it too high all the way around. Then when you're done, just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Now we will go ahead and create our staircase to our next floor. So heading inside to the right side, we'll go ahead and place two high wooden walls right here. Do that again right here, right here, and then again right here. So just like that. Right here, we're gonna add two high wooden double door frames, just like this. Then we will place a wooden ceiling one high right here. Again, make sure you're placing it in the same direction as the ones below it. So just like that, drop a stone stair down from it. Place another wooden ceiling right up here in this spot. Again, make sure you're placing it in the same direction. And then drop another stone stair down. Next, we're going to create the floor for our next level. Now, make sure you follow along carefully because we are going to leave some spots open. So we'll start off here in this back corner where we have this ceiling already. Placing another one right here, again, in the same direction. Take a row of these across to our other side. We're going to leave that back portion open. So we'll just go ahead and fill in right here. Fill in right here. And then also fill in these three right here. Again, we're gonna leave the front portion open as well as our stair. And then we are also going to take two more out from these to reach our pillar over here. Now again, make sure you're placing them in the same direction and do this on all of these spots. Now for this level's walls, we're going to start off over here on the left side by placing a thatch ceiling in front of each of these wooden ceilings. Then here on the back corner, we're going to start off with a sloped wooden wall right, and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Next, go ahead and place a wooden wall again, rotating the snap point and add another sloped wooden wall right on top of it. In the next spot, place another wooden wall followed by a sloped wooden wall left. And then finally, another sloped wooden wall left, again, rotated around to place like this. Then you can go ahead and pick up all of this thatch. Now head over to the right side, and it'll be a little easier over here. We just need to go ahead and place the walls. So we'll just start off with the sloped wooden wall right, then a regular wall and another wall right, another regular wall, Again, on this one, you may need to rotate the snap point just to get it on the wall below it, and then add your sloped wooden wall left on top, and then here, just your sloped wooden wall left, again, rotating it, just like that. Next, we're gonna create the portion that drops down over here, so we're gonna come in here and place a thatch ceiling in front of each of these wooden ceilings right here. Then we will go ahead and place a thatch wall right here but we again are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this do that again right here you can go ahead and pick up the thatch ceilings and then just go ahead and drop a wooden wall down again rotating the snap point so that it's attaching to the thatch wall above it and place another one right here go ahead and pick up this thatch and go ahead and do the same thing over here on the back side Then over here on the side, we will just go ahead and get out our wooden wall and just rotate the snap point again so that it's snapping to the wall above it and just do that all the way across. Now here on the front, we're going to go to this top level and go one ceiling in right here and place a wooden wall like this and like this. Then we will place the appropriate sloped wooden wall on each side so that it's facing into those walls. So just like that, and then just like this on this side. Then we will come to the back and do the same thing right here. So a wooden wall right here and right here, and then the sloped wooden wall right here and right here on the other side. So it should look like this now. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our roof. So starting off here on the front, we will place a sloped wooden roof right here and in the next spot right here. Do the same thing on the other side of that. And then head to the back side and do the same thing on each side of the back. Then we will head back to our front over here on the left side and we will take three more across right here. Now for this next portion, if you're on official settings, you have to do this in a specific order to allow them to cross, so pay close attention. We will start off placing one right here and then add another one right here to allow it to cross. Come to the other side and place this one right here first and then this one crossing them. And then you can go ahead and add two more right here to reach our other side. Now head back to the left side and go ahead and take another row across. Now we will head over here to the back, but we are going to start off over here on the right side. And we're going to take three across right here. And now this time, because we're starting on the right, we need to start off placing this one right here and then cross it with this one. And then go ahead and add this one right here and then cross it with this one and then add two more to connect us over here to the left head back over to the right and do the same thing just take another line all the way across now we're going to go ahead and add some railings so first over here between these pillars we're just going to go ahead and place a stone railing on each of these foundations Then right here at the top of our stair, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden railing right here like this. We're going to go ahead inside of our build now and head upstairs. And just right here at the top of the stairs, we'll place another wooden railing on each side of this ceiling just to keep us from falling down the stairs. Now over here on the right side of our build, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden ladder on one of these stone pillars. Go ahead and climb on that ladder and just look down a little bit and get out a wooden fence support. Go ahead and jump off the ladder and we're basically just gonna take the leg of that fence support, as you can see, right to about the middle of the pillar and just sticking out a little bit. Go ahead and walk over to our next pillar and do the same thing, just right in the middle. And then do that one more time again here on this last pillar. You can then go ahead back and pick up or destroy that wooden ladder. Now, right here on this fence support, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone pillar, and we're going to snap that to the fence support, so just like this, and add a wooden pillar on top of it. Go ahead and do that on our other two fence supports as well. Then we're just gonna go ahead back over here and get out a stone wall and place it on the fence support, and add a stone railing on top of it. And do that on the other two as well. Now right here, we'll place another one and place a railing on top. Now on this back one, we're gonna come here to the outside. And as you'll see, we have the inside of the wall facing the outside of our build. So we just wanna flip this wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. And then go ahead and add your railing on top, just like that. So all right guys, that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now You Were a Monkey is going to come in here and work her magic on the paint and decorations. So guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right guys, so as you can see, You Were a Monkey has hooked us up with an awesome paint scheme and some great decorations. So I'm going to kind of real quickly show you a little bit of what she's done, but she will have the full tour video on her channel and she actually live streamed the entire process of painting and decorating this build so you guys can go check that out to actually learn and see exactly how she did this so i'll leave information down in the description as well as a comment where you can find her information in her channel so let's go ahead and just kind of real quickly look around the outside here first at what she's done out here so you can see we obviously have an awesome looking paint scheme here we've got some great additions over here she's added in kind of a little bit of state a little bit of a stable over here with some equus in it and then we have some more great stuff going on here on the back side and then obviously the real bread and butter here on the outside is the workstation for our blacksmith here with our smithy and all of our forges and whatnot and some great you know decor going on out here 
to really make it look like a work area. As we head inside here at the top of our house here, she's kind of hooked us up with a really good downstairs area, kitchen, living area, dining area, everything. And then upstairs, she has hooked us up with an awesome bedroom area up here. Really made use of this little space and just really actually turned this little space into a great bedroom. Kind of real quickly show you guys the downstairs again, but I, I do want you guys to go and check out her video. I don't want to show off too much of it because I want you guys, you know, make sure you go check out her video where she'll kind of walk you through it a little bit more. And then she actually turned this space. So this space down here was only really intended if you wanted to use it as a storage area. Um, really, it was just meant to be a subfloor just to kind of get that look of the stone underneath the wood. But I only really intended it for storage, but she has turned this area into something awesome. Stacking some storage in here to make it look really cool. Bringing in some dodos down here, giving them a little space to live. A lot of really cool stuff going on in this space that really wasn't even meant for anything. So uh, kudos to her for turning that into something awesome. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out Your Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. And also, guys, check the description for a link to my Twitter as well as my Discord where you can stay up to date with me and come hang out and chat with me, Your Monkey, and all of our friends. So anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.